want to learn some hacking on Wi-Fi router okay uh, let's teach you something that how to extend your Wi-Fi network with an old router you can learn the extending of your Wi-Fi range in this video So viewers, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you. So here is the router, the old router, which don't have any internet connection. We are going to admin panel of the old router, TP-Link old router. So I think you know how to uh, go any router's admin panel. For TP-Link, just write in your browser, 192.168.0.1 and then enter then just uh, go into your routers admin panel and here you have to write username and password so before he, you go there you router must have to be reset in default settings so username uh, is admin and password is admin and then And then uh, we go we went to network uh, no need to change any other thing from network just go to wireless settings here you can change the SSID by your choice and we kept uh, the SSID is stay at home please this is our old routers SSID and you have to change the channel uh, from auto to an a specific number channel number we kept here 10 and nothing else don't need to change anything and then uh, go to win uh, go to wireless security settings here you can change the password the from the default password you can change it uh, by yourself and after changing everything just uh, press save and then router will be reboot reboot it so you have to wait until uh, reboot the router. So after uh, rebooting the router, TP-Link old router, new SSID is stay at home and new password will write down here and then connect in second router. You must have to remember the password of your old router. Uh, here our password is locked down. Uh, so now uh, finally we check, have a look here we have kept we have changed the ssid as stay at home and the password is locked down here you are seeing the second router old tp link router and most important thing is dhcp dhcp settings from dhcp settings you have to disable the dhcp server you have to disable dhcp server and after successfully successfully disabled disable the DHCP server from your secondary router you cannot log in here again so you must have to disable DHCP server after disable just press save router will reboot and let it reboot okay now we will work on uh, our uh, first primary router toolbox bangladesh is our primary router which have broadband connection so let's uh, connect uh, in this uh, router and uh, as usually log into the admin panel of primary router this router is also tp link router so now we have logged in uh, the admin panel of our primary first router which have internet connection here have uh, uh, you have must have to change a little thing you have to change the channel number you have to keep the channel number same as your old router just uh, previously you have set up we keep uh, we kept our uh, channel number of old router is 10 or 11 maybe anyway uh, 11 
and as usually same 11 have to keep in this primary router and enable WDS bridging you have to check mark and then and then here you have to put the SSID just keep watching the video and follow the system and don't forget to subscribe our channel click this please, please. So well viewers now we'll check stay at home on the TP Link wireless connected to Tilbox Bangladesh. This router have internet connection or not we will verify. Just keep watching and uh, it will successfully uh, connect to internet.